Hey guys, Tarot here bringing you a 2 2 today. We are on fields of Winnick and Donk. If you're spawning in the by. south, we have Silent Hit playing as Soviets, immediately going for defensive. Timothy Ryujo playing as US forces with heavy cavalry, recon support, and infantry. From the north, we have Young Rutra. Osir, who has German mechanized Jaeger armor and spearhead, and finally Thoton, also with Osir, Festung armor, German mechanized and defensive. In terms of uh, rankings here, random team on the Allied side, Sun hits, I think rank 12, Ryujo 40 ish. And uh, a ranged team on the other side for the Axis, they were around rank 40 as well. So it's a maximum staff side hit, which is interesting considering you have Dishkas in this commander, which I would generally say is the superior machine gun. I feel like if you're going to play uh, Maxims. Maybe you should go for NKVD instead. We built it as HMG crew is but I only just one maximum into a, a very early mortar. That's interesting. And look at this wiring. <laughs> this is crazy from silent hit. He's wired a good chunk of it off there though. Reasonably well defended at this stage. Got a beacon up, Ryujo uh, opting for that recon support with the double pathfinders after the initial rifleman. Doing pretty well hiding behind these trees. Rifleman very close. Much stronger in these areas, but I don't know if you're getting two on ones. Pathfinders though, performing well against the Grenadiers initially, but now it's a three on one. Oh no! Silent hit combat engineers, they're sneaking around here. And then they end up going down, Maxim setting up, but Grenadiers uh, from the side, they can keep popping off shots here. This is a really bad start for Silent hit. into the building as well, so this squad doesn't even have to retreat, but that was a pretty nice hit from the mortar. The Grandiers did end up fanning out, so now being beaten, and uh, no machine gun start for both of the Axis, no MG42s at all, which is very interesting. If you're worried you're up against Pathfinders and you think they're going to be useless, you can, of course, check the fog of war have a look at the base splats see which side the US player is going to be on to help play around that a little bit but you know with silent hit going for a mortar <laughs> fourth fourth unit mortar I mean maybe uh, no MG42 was the way to go on this side as well James D capture on the Muni point. Our has been is doing well. Uh, I think maybe these greenies need to actually close the distance here. I think the light cover is still an option, but Thoton lulling Silent Hit to sleep there. Once the engagement's already been cooking for a, for a, you know maybe half a minute, then he launches that rifle nade. Came along and now I'm going to go into a fast 250 here. Put some Panzer Greedies after that. So Sun hit two squads down already. And a bit of a mare. And uh, some S mines down on the fuel. Maxim gets very low from that. Can't really merge here either. Would risk losing his conscripts. Oh, so risky. If that combat engineer model died like three seconds earlier, we would have lost the whole conscript squad going for that merge. Our have given us 120 millimeter mortars. 
But yes, it's curious why Silent Hip went for both a Maxim and a Mortar when <laughs> the commander options are so much stronger. And uh, overall, the Allies struggling. We see Ryujo actually coming to the front lines with his ambulance, but. Oh, yeah, the riflemen able to disengage. Maybe they'll be able to make it back. We do have the beacon providing some uh, intel. Reassure out to the side. Need to wire off those sandbags. Are looking good for the Axis at this stage. 2224 two, two, Lutra. And he hung around in the base for the Pegreens to finish. So, 250, not actually Enemy that fast. I had to wait for that extra production time. I'm going to drive straight up here and silent hit. Oh, he's gone for two conscripts. No 18 nades yet. So this could be very powerful. The mortar was already packing up though, so that was lucky. Chasing it down. Very potent the old squad wipe half track. Engaging. So I hit not taking 18 nades, so I'm surprised by that. But it looks like he's going for a quad. Right, right there for one. It's got my half track coming around, and this could be trouble now for the ambulance. Oh, well look at how fast it's dying. Maybe he could have tried to jump out the medics, but uh, this is not looking good for the allies at all right now. To snare off on the 222 at least. But this is too much pressure. Ryujo having to retreat. He's got the Greyhound though already. Four command points this early on in the match. Here it comes. There's a very fast accumulation. Look at everybody else. There's nowhere near that number of command points. Doesn't quite have enough to go for the big chase down. I want to take a snare. To try and roll up, and it does perform quite well against the Greyhound. Greyhound's armoured, not that sturdy. And uh, okay, sign hit briefly using it for uh, the jumbo sized clown car, but now the quad has finished upgrading. It's so looking to push back on to this side of the map. i do use with the heavy cover position, so the quad kind of necessary. He's got the mortar though as well. Oh, the rear echelon die out at the side here. That squad wipe half track taking no prisoners. The enemy is taking our territory. There's a Talamite over here for Photon as well. No sweeper uh, on that side, but okay, gets the greedy wipe. Oh, oh, Green is dead over here for Young Rutra as well. And now, what is this? Young Rutra overextending with the 222. That's not Rutra, that's just, just for clarity. But two Green Deers down and the 222. <laughs> well, uh, there's one way for the Allies to come back into this game, and, and that was it. Four units dead from the Axis in under a minute. Exactly what the allies needed. They are already close to 200 VPs behind. Yeah, young Rutra. Army looking relatively weak sector. after that. And what can the squad right half track even do now with the Greyhound and the Quad on the field? Its opportunities are so much more limited. LMG Green is doing well in the building fight. Here comes the Greyhound. AT gun now for Photon. Young Rutra going for a rebuild on the Green Deers, so he has no answer to this. This Greyhound should have a field day. Dropping down some paratroopers now, Ryujo. Green is pushing forwards. 
Oh, and this could be a bit of a uh, wipey wipey in return. Taking the long way round though. Got the lieutenant here with the bazooka, the 250 coming in. The greedy is coming in from the side. Ujo quick to dodge off to the side, but I think, yeah, one of the greedies managed to get a Faust off that long range Panzer Faust. Hard to avoid. And then the squad wipe half track. Oh. Gave up the chase a little bit too soon. Has to chase for so much greater of a distance than he wanted to, and he doesn't actually get it in the end. Wow, that's really good luck for Ryujo, but Greyhound's in some trouble. Getting chain Faustus. I do remember Green Deers also have a relatively low cooldown on their Panzerfaust. Most other units get like a cooldown bonus for their snares from veterancy, but Green Deers kind of just have it like pre-buffed. Tried to get out for a quick repair there, but he gave up the the Faust coming in from the other side. Even if he did some repairs there, no guarantee like one second of repairs would have saved the day. But the quad's coming in, wipes one Grandier, the other one retreating out to this angle. If it came through this, probably would have been another squad wipe. Not too bad though, trading Grandier for a dead Greyhound. Uh, Axe is still with dominant territory control. Thoton making inroads on this side while the quad was assisting his teammate. He's got spotting scopes upgraded on that 250, by the way. And here comes the quad. Looking to polish it off. There is a bit of road here, so actually quite fast. And there's a pack rolling up for Thoton. He jumps out. This one loses P Greens in the explosion. Shot connecting. Hard to get the attack rounds going with that road there. Faust connects one Faust. But he doesn't have any other green deers. It has to be this squad keeping pace. Here comes the AT gun. Oh, on the Maxim, looking for some suppression. The Greedies give up the chase. And the pack is just too far away. Looks like the quad's going to get out of there. He needs to keep driving, though. He's chasing all the way in. He's going to maybe try go for some attack rounds, but I think you can't attack round through that. I think that is too dense. Have a tree line. Got the decap, though, at least on the point. Troopers about to pop the LNG upgrade. Greedy's dropping fast. And that's a heavy mortar now for Silent Hit. Stacking on top of his regular Soviet mortar. Oh, look at this. This is a fast command tank. 18 and a half minutes. Really, really quick one for Photon. Of course, that 250 does cost it a little bit less uh, fuel. And the 222, so that can help you out a little bit. Go for the fast medium. Actually, going for a rebuild on the 250, which is interesting. Maybe going to trade it for spotting scopes. Get any sight bonuses? Doesn't look like it. Uh, not the best for reinforcement, even though it does get it at VET 1. The radius it has is quite low compared to other half tracks. We are losing a sector. Okay, so mines coming out for silent hit. SU 76 for silent hit. Unexpected choice, and uh, going for he's this as well. Got a second medium on the field now. This one for young Rutra. He still kind of needs an anti-tank gun, just in case. Just in case he goes up against the uh, SU-76. She's rotating across. 
Hujo uh, went for an airdropped combat group. He's got the pack however, but he's getting away with it now. This is maybe one of the weaknesses of uh, Ryujo's strategy. No anti-tank gun access, can't airdrop one in like you can with airborne. Here we go, command tank making some moves down the side. Forgot to queue up a run away from the mine command after planting it. Quad nearly knocks out the fresh squad wipe half track, but now the double mortar's in some trouble from the side. Quad's out of position for it. So the heavy mortar's going to get decrewed. Good suppression from the quad. The screen is still going to try call in for the Faust. Goes for a steal on the mortar. Uh-oh, Pathfinder's died, jumping out of the door, it looks like. Big hit from the Panzer IV. Need to jump out the other side. Vehicle crew holding tight there. Oh, but he hit that mine. Issue 76 now in hot pursuit. Combat Engineers there provide some vision. SU-76 having trouble getting any shots going. He finally gets one now, but there's pack right there. So he can't really chase any further. Oh, he's gonna go. Oh, but he doesn't need to go. It's the Zis that finishes the job. He's got right half-track coming in, but this could be his undoing. The quad's right there. Big burst. Surviving the Zis setting up, but... Just small arms damage enough to finish the job there, it looked like. Ouch. Good mine, though, by Silent Hit. That was the difference maker. And, uh... Sweeper Squad didn't spot that one. Now he's barraging right out the back, though. It's not going to hit too much, really. I'm not sure about that one from Photon. Rutra, meanwhile. That Panzer four, eight kills. Can consider going for a sweep on the rear echelon. I mean, on the pyros, because... Can we get uh, some mines planted by these... Zuka paratroopers from uh, this commander. Or oh, well, from just the paratroopers, not the bazooka ones. Support paratroopers. Make some capping. Allies are just so low on victory points, even though they've had a couple of big wins. VP control has been lacking. Continues to. Here comes the Panzer IV. Quad in some trouble. Pops the speed boost. Maybe if it was at full health, he might have stood a chance of getting away here, but. No chance. Oh, and that's a nasty bundle grenade. Oh, sun hit. Oh, the state is welcome with that Maxim. That goes down. He's going to pick that up with the P Greens as well. Oh no. I mean the quad, that that was going to die 100% but to lose the Maxim as well, that is really not good. Nice rotation by Young Rucho with that P4. Now it's uh, still facing the same direction. A lot of units back here this time but barraging yet. And uh, Sherman rolling onto the field now for Ryujo. Interesting, you know. He does have some uh, bazooka riflemen. Don't see those too often. There's actually another mine here from Photon. Red is dead out the back though. Quick kill by the LMG Paris. SU-76. Smells uh, Panzer IV. Ryujo's actually gone for grenades as well. Doesn't hang around for the snare though. 
This is 76 and Sherman and Hopper shoot. And Guncrit can issue, finish the job. Yes, it does. But now the Sherman's in some trouble. Takes a sneer. Out of range of the pack now. And our Photon went for a rebuild on the command tank. So he can't really, like, go for a dive on this. Maybe two Faust would be enough to kill the Sherman here, but... Explosive now, big old hit. He's got the bazooka, but it bounces. And the Grandiers go up the chase. MG from Young Rutra. Yuka crew trying to get around the side, unsuccessful. Now the P Greens are on the retreat. But they don't go for the wipe on them. Interesting. And uh, MG actually retreating, already quite low on health. This is doing alright so far. Good positioning for silent hit, and he's got enough for the anti tank overwatch as well. If you can get a snare going. He's gone for another Maxim as well. Very strange not to build the Dishka. I still really hurting on the victory points. But oh, this could be trouble for the Pegrims. H.C. Sherman rolling down. So far, so good for Photon. Sherman shots not really landing. He gets away. Photon uh, not really going for LNGs on his green is where's his release being spent? He's trying to get in range for the Faust. How are you getting a little bit of damage done here? Oh, but look at that heavy mortar. More impact. He's coming back in though, back into the danger zone with his this. Barrage is worn off now though. Constructs have to give up the center. Got the ma machine gun there. And now it's a Brumbia from young Rutra. He's he's got an, I suppose he's got an anti-tank on and a bazooka, but doesn't really have a good way of forcing off the Sherman on this map. An AT gun that's uh, not much to cover on this map. To cover a Sherman. you again. Didn't have the uh, angle. Drives a little bit too far forwards. Oh. Oh. Bounces both shots by the command tank. Lucky break there for some hit. And they did issue otherwise. Either of them had pins. Oh, there we go. Got the cluster bombs coming down as well, and young Rutra has not dodged this very effectively. Oh! Greenies go down on retreat. Good dodge from Photon, didn't take too much. Trying to recover the AT gun, and it gets decrewed yet again. But the Boombear shutting down the infantry. Shooting out back, repairing. Be careful. Oh, jumps back in. He's still on high explosive, though. Backing away. And the Brumbia really is the bazooka's worst nightmare. It's not really at the penetration. There's so much damage in return to any squad that attempts to get in close. A second howitzer from Photon. Okay, well, he's definitely memeing here. You could crew. Uh, I think they're winning that. Probably because... Oh, back how he goes down. To the LFH. Probably because that pie squad had the sweeper. I think otherwise the pies would probably win. Got 
four kills on one, one kill on the other. Jikau sitting up, but nice flank by Thoton. He's right across the map, isn't he? He's, uh, he's over here with all his units, and he's over here as well. It's a lot to focus on. T-34 coming in. Doesn't quite have the hull gun firing, though. Missing a lot of his DPS. And, uh, so, okay, Thoton. Two packs now. Shooting left on armor piercing. And a few decent hits. Boom there. Does a little bit of damage. Not a clean hit. Not full damage, but some respect from the Sherman at least. And now a Jackson in the build for Ryujo. There's a little bit of uh, extra manpower floating on top of that. So is Young Vultra though. What happened to that pack? Oh, maybe that's what uh, Photon picked up actually. Or just pack that got decrewed. Alright. Maybe Young Vultra could do with another one then. This Jackson's gone to clean him out. They play T guns, but one of them missing. Reed is a little slow on the Faust. This is Series 6 Barrage. And the Green is. If they just chase, they could have maybe got the Faust kill. It looks like Silent Hit's going to get away with it. Our troopers coming in from the side, but here comes the Brumbia again. But the Jackson's there to meet it this time. Oh, if he gets in range for a snare, and he does. Oh, that is big trouble for the Boom Bear. There's one AT gun there. And Tank Overwatch coming down on the command tank, meanwhile. Jackson loses vision, though. Doesn't want to chase. Oh, yeah, command tank mega dead. Oh, mega abandoned, actually. Maxim dead over here for silent hits and stolen by Thoton. Carnage right now. Rumbia getting repaired up. Sherman coming in. Where's that Jackson? It's right the way out the back. Sherman could take engine damage. Oh, no munitions by young Rutra though. Uh oh. Jackson coming in. He might even need more than two shots to kill though. That health threshold. Stolen Maxim doesn't make it home. Oh, double packs lining up. Oh, is this the end of the Jackson? Oh, still alive. He must have repaired it up a tiny bit. Rujo, what are you doing? Oh my god. Both his tanks get out of there. Also steals away that Maxim. Now he's got three machine guns. It's pretty much... Uh, Maybe it's pop cap limit once everything's reinforced. Real shame that he couldn't kill the Brumbia though. 116 VPs left for the allies. Pushing but crushing. Doing well through the center. I respect that bazooka though on the green deers. Double mortars. <laughs> uh oh, we've got to be careful in the middle. Here come the Howies now though. Photon. Barraging these. In fact, double barrage over here. Oh my god! Huge hit from the T-34. Green ears go down. Couple packs up there. Oh, and the T-34 does not escape. Heavy mortar got decrewed. Is that Jackson? There it is. AT gun for Gun Rutra a little bit too far back. 
Energy going for the cap on the far edge, but the uh, Allies contesting the centre. Ooh, let's call on that command tank. Oh, but the SU overstaying is welcome. Is it finally going to go down here? Yes. And the uh, Maximus are hit, going to get destroyed. And he's going for another T-34. Interesting. Through the heavy mortar. Oh, he's got two heavy mortars now and a regular one. Here comes a panther though. MG dead for Ryujo. Oh, slightly off target with that grenade onto the pack, are we? And here we go. Cluster bombs coming down, forcing young Ryujo to move. Oh, ooh, really did so quickly and the pack decrewed out the back. Oh, did he just lose a squad jumping onto that as well? Oh, this is not looking Oh my god. See you later, paratroopers. Six models, but they were low health and they were clumps. Oh, the Sherman. Big hits. Panther chasing in. Oh, the Jackson's in some trouble now as well. The Bazooka. Got the Howie coming down and, uh, oh, the Maxim's in some trouble. Oh, one more shot and that's the end of the Scott and the Jackson and the Sherman. This is, this is a very dangerous position if you're Ryujo right now. Could lose everything. Looks like the not going to be uh, getting involved and here comes anti-tank overwatch t34 going in for a bit of a dive the double packs lining up don't quite manage to fire though and he's chasing in after the command tank panther driving through anti-tank overwatch take a lot of damage on his way through and the smoke here perhaps backfiring oh Oh, the panther. Oh, he's driving back in. No, he's driving out. Meanwhile, another T-34 dead here. Maxim dead. Zis dead. It's just carnage right now. So it's not hit, able to recover the Zis. Good time for those uh, P-Greens to retreat with the double mortars coming down. Oh, we've got an M1919 on one of these... INR Pathfinders, that's the dream situation for them. Yes, he recovered that from the Paris that died up here, perhaps. Oh, garaging out the back. Other one's still uh, alive. Repairing that up before recurring it. And it looks like Photon going to give up on the command tank, switching over to the Panther himself. Double Panthers. So I hit those. Still enough munis for another anti tank Overwatch. Just got to wait for the cooldown. And Ryuga, meanwhile, has picked up a second Jackson now, so he's actually quite well equipped to deal with these Panthers and the Boombia. Come down to the AT gun positioning, I think, of uh, young Rootree. He's got the double packs, so does Photon. And his are very well vetted as well. Vet 2, Vet 3, this one just a, a lick of veterancy off Vet 3 as well. Oh no! Ooh, Pathfinder's down to the boom bit. Is that a bunker buster? No, oh, it's just a uh, attack ground. Maybe they're trying to hide tree line there. I need bazookas. Just the one bazooka it looks like for the lieutenants. Oh no! Sharon gets in some trouble here. 
Panthers rolling in. Double AT guns as well. Pack how he de -cruise. Oh, good pack positioning there for Young Rucha, the Panther. Oh, does not get the finishing shot in though. Close call for Rijo again. Blocked by his own team, we can see it. Second Panther coming in. Dissuaded from the chase, has to worry about those bazookas. The riflemen are there this time. They've got the snare, that's extra scary. And uh, cluster bombs coming down by Ryujo, looking for these double AT guns. Oh. No dice. Oh! Okay, switches the focus fire over to the green ears. Allies doing well on the VPs though, I think they've drained out... They've lost six points in the time they've drained about a hundred. Definitely turn this one around. Oh, and there's a good Kachusha barrage, green ears falling. There's a long range caddy as well, getting quite lucky with the scatter. Panthers coming in, what wants to mop up this T-34, there's a lot of sight and shot blockers and the Panther decides not to chase. Meanwhile the Brumbier goes down, Ryujo pushing in with the Bazookas with the Jackson. Second Jackson getting involved now as well, the AT gun of Thoton going down and what a collapse here from the Axis. Ryujo definitely getting quite lucky escaping the one shot with these mediums time and time again but massive turnaround after that early game and here we go silent hits drops down the anti-tank overwatch looking to clean this panther up with the engine crit not much he can do here as long as the conscripts can provide sight now they're on top of the AT gun as well the allies pushing all the way to the axe's base now what a reversal change of fate the double Jacksons get involved cluster bombs out the back pyros go down to them oh nearly two squads double packs nearly knocking out the Sherman another close call for Ryujo and this is in trouble oh target weak point do they have vision Oh, there we go. He does not escape. That was the low vet of the two Jacksons, though. Pyro did up here, by the way, as well. Army size is now a big lead for the Allies. About 50 overall pop cap up. She's up the back. Not hitting much, though. And uh, left on the front lines. This could be trouble, actually. Oh, so is the Sherman. Oof. Yep, Cancelling that rifle mate. Coming up to the far side now, Thoton. T-34 for Silent Hit and still has managed to save up for another anti-tank overwatch. Allies have had just such good territory control. Munis just keep flooding in. Okay, T-34 on the field. get one now. We come playing up for Rutra. Got a bit of Howie action. Photon still. Both these Howies are alive. They're barraging away. Not really hitting much. Oh, one decent connection on the Maxim. Not really too worried. The 
uh, Vet 3 pack lining up this T-34 and the Panthers coming across here now as well. Oh. oh, but he's got the N-Tank Overwatch. Is he going to take a snare with the Panther again? The Panther can drive out forwards and survive this, but he's driving back in. Oh, what are you doing, young Rutra? You're playing right into the hands of Silent Hit. Trying to drive through this anti tank overwatch. Oh, that's disastrous. And now the paratroopers coming in from the other side. The broom there also getting hammered by this. Oh, no. Oh, what a collapse by the axis. Oh, okay. There we go. Got some revenge. Jackson down. Oh. T gun decrewed as well by Thoton. Any pitch getting Molotov down. It looks like uh, the X's have gone AFK, so I'd say they have left the match. Oof. Yeah, I don't know. I think Photon maybe, uh, I'm not sure about the rebuild on the command tank and the second howitzer. It seems not that good of an idea. Kind of al allowed those uh, initial allied mediums to have a lot more value because he just didn't have mobile enough anti-tank. And yeah, a rejo, some clutch plays with those mediums they, they nearly died so many times there was maybe a moment where, where that panther could have just dived in from young root i know that it was it maybe lost about a third of its health at that stage but so many tanks on one shot could have cleaned them all out and that would have been very good for the axis but yeah that anti-tank overwatch wow so many kills from that uh young root with pretty much the worst reaction to it possible though Instead of just driving forwards five range and camping there with the AT guns to defend him, he tried to drive all the way through it and no real hope of escape there. But yeah, impressive comeback by the Allies after a disastrous start, especially Silent Hit losing those two combat engineers right at the beginning of the game. And, and I feel like this is a, a tough area of the map to try use machine guns and not have like any mainline squads, there's just so many blind corners can be hard to get the positioning right on things. Oh well, GG, well played uh, by both teams. And anyway guys, wrap on that. If you like your game to be cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise I'll catch you off for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.